Hello, everyone. I am Mr. Gaming Guitarist, and I just got up, and uh, I always check all the, a lot of the entertainment news sites on my phone, and I saw that M Melissa Benoist, I don't know if I'm saying her last name correctly or not, has been cast as Supergirl in the upcoming CBS Supergirl show. And I was wondering, okay, uh, I don't know this person. Let me see where she's been in. And I, the things that I see is that she was on Glee, which got me a little worried. Until I remembered Grant Gustin, who is the Flash, was also on Glee. And so, meh. If anything, if they ever cross over, that just gives the actors more in common. So may, I don't know if they ever had scenes together in Glee, because I don't watch that. Because I n don't watch that show and have no, absolutely no desire to. So I don't know. But uh, but I saw that she was also in Whiplash, and that raised my hopes up because if you are in an Oscar-nominated film with J.K. Simmons in it, then you have to be a good actress, okay? The, the, or, I haven't seen the movie Whiplash, but I've been hearing absolutely great things about it, so, uh, hopes rise up from there. And, <laughs> but when I see this, um, makes me sort of think something. Uh, <laughs> does, um, does the DC Universe have something against blonde characters and i'm talking about the main characters here because of course oliver queen has blonde hair and yet during the tv show uh his hair is brown ish i guess it gets blonde when it's longer but i'm talking about his hair is brown and same thing with the flash he, i um I don't really know that much about the comics, but I believe in the comics, Barry Allen has blonde hair, and yet his hair is going to be is brown. Another thing, isn't, uh, and I know for a fact, abs I know absolutely that Kara has, that Ka yeah, that I know for a fact that Kara has blonde hair. Absolutely, in the comics, I've watched Justice League Unlimited and Superman Batman Apocalypse. I know she has blonde hair. <laughs> so, I find it kind of hilarious that, here we go once again, a blonde character being cast with someone with brown hair. But I know they're going to fix that. So, uh, just something, just a little conspiracy, some dumbass conspiracy that's being brewed in my uh, idiot brain. But just something to laugh at. <laughs> but... Anyway, that's besides the point. Um, so yeah, I'm glad that they're getting uh, someone who, on the surface, who I haven't seen in any movies, uh, appears to be a good actress to be Supergirl, so I'm happy about that. So yeah, I'm still curious how they're going to make a Supergirl TV show and how they're going to have her in this universe without Superman and and how it's going to be in the same universe as Arrow and The Flash. I don't know how it's going to work, but if time and time again this universe proves to be great, I love Arrow, I love The Flash, I love both of the, those shows, I love what they're doing. So I'm having faith that Supergirl... Blah, blah, blah. I'm having faith that Supergirl will be good. At least I know Super, Supergirl is going to be a better show than Gotham. I can tell you that right now. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. Oh, yeah, and please subscribe. I would appreciate it. Okay, goodbye for real this time.